50 years ago, the health service was very young. So if you had a disability at that time, you were shunned? There was no one to help me. I was the only person that had brittle bones. Mobility, or to be precise, the lack of it, is the greatest single problem facing young children suffering from brittle bones. We were incredibly isolated. It was a terrible time. My mum said, oh, here's a little letter that size. And it was asking if there was anybody else out there who had brittle bones. The Brittle Bone Society was started here in 1968. It was the first time I'd met another child that had a eye like me. Mum just hoped that it would go on from year to year. We were shipped in by buses, rickety old buses that didn't have seat belts. There was great turmoil looking for places to hold our offices. We had fun, we had laughter, we had tears. The Brittle Bone Society saved my life. I hope that people recognise the impact that one lady has had. And it was for my parents a lifeline. We never envisioned that it would last. People's attitudes have changed. Depending on where you live in the country, it is a bit of a lottery what you can have access to. Suddenly finding Margaret Grant and realising other people had it was a huge support for them. It's made a big difference to the lives of a lot of children and their families. Here's to the next 50. <laughs>